Welcome to this episode of Getting Chatty with Mayor Diodati, where we're looking at cheap and cheerful things to do right here in Niagara Falls. If you like to hike and you like trails, the Niagara Parks Commission offers incredible opportunities to go down the gorge right to the river's edge, including right here at the Niagara Glen Nature Reserve. I'm here with Gord down in the Niagara Glen, and obviously by his two fishing poles, he's going fishing, two arms, two poles. So Gord, what kind of fish uh, can you get down here? I understand it's some of the best fishing anywhere. Uh, what kind of fish can we expect to find? You know what, I agree. It's really one of the better spots to fish. Um, today I'm gonna try for carp, walleye, there's muskie down here, uh, salmon, bass, sheephead, catfish. I see sturgeon jumping. We can't fish for those, but they're down there too. What's the biggest fish you've pulled out, you've pulled out before? Uh, 40 pound carp, 40 pound salmon. That's a big, how big is a fish like that? How big, show me with your hands. Oh, uh, you know what? Probably about that big salmon. That but, is but huge. But that are this long. I'm with the Shubik family here from Australia. And uh, quick question, folks. So what brought you down here? How'd you hear about this trail and what are your plans? Uh, well, we went to Niagara Falls the other day and um, just grabbed a brochure from the information booth and saw some wonderful things along the Canadian side. So we thought we'd need to come check it out. And being from Australia, I guess you're used to nature things? Yeah, well, definitely. We've been doing a lot of cities and I needed a nature fix, so <laughs> I convinced the family to get them come across the border and into Canada, and yeah, we definitely need to get some exposure to nature. Oh, that's great. Well, you know what, I'm sure you're going to have a good time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay in Niagara Falls in Canada. Yeah, thanks very much, Jim. I'm here with Mercedes and Faro at Taco's Fruit Stand, and I don't think anything beats buying and eating fresh, local, Niagara-grown fruit. And here we've got peaches and plums. How's the season been this year? Actually, it's been a very good season. Moisture's been there. A little bit too much water at times, but very good. And this year, how would you compare the sweetness and the size? Uh, the sweetness and size are very good this year. And nothing beats uh, homegrown, locally grown. I, I totally agree. Canada, uh, Ontario fruit is, I, in my opinion, I'm maybe a little biased, number one. I'd really like to try one for myself. That is amazing. Or the Niagara Park School of Horticulture, where you can enjoy acres of beautifully maintained gardens just for pleasure, or if you want to get some ideas for your place. I'm here with Jonathan from the Niagara Falls History Museum at the Drummond Hill Cemetery, the site of the Battle of Lundy's Lane, still to this day the bloodiest battle ever fought on Canadian soil. And we're here just at the beautiful, newly erected gateway sign uh, commemorating this incredible event. So Jonathan, tell me, why would someone want to come down here to the cemetery and uh, what might they find of interest down here? At the cemetery, uh, this is one of Canada's oldest cemeteries. There are very many important people buried here. Uh, so we have a really kind of colorful history in Niagara Falls, so this is just one of the ways that you get to learn about it. On Thursday evenings, uh, we do have a guided cemetery tour until the end of August. Uh, and then after that, and even during that, we're going to be having, uh, or we have um, uh, self-guided tours, self-guided walking tours of the Drummond Hill Cemetery, but then also the Battle of Lundy's Lane. Well, that wraps up our tour of cheap and cheerful things to do in Niagara Falls. If you think of some other ideas, share them with me on Facebook, Twitter, or email me. Enjoy the rest of your summer here in beautiful Niagara Falls.